In NX, we have several tools that allow us to extend the size of a surface or trim a surface. One of the tools I'd like to talk about now, it's uh, set up in the edit portion, is called Enlarge. When I select the Enlarge, it sets up these four little balls, little handles at each end, and this now allows me to grab one of these and enlarge the surface. What I want you to notice is, is that I enlarge it, the parameterization of the surface simply updates, keeping the parameterization, meaning the control vertices. The original surface is matched precisely. All that occurs is that the surface is being enlarged and the parameterization is updating. If I look under settings, you'll notice I have natural and linear. With a natural extension like this, or enlarge, you, you see this type of movement occur with the CVs or control vertices. If I change this to linear, you'll see new control vertices appear. What ends up happening is you're no longer following along the true curvature of that surface. You are coming off in a curvature con, uh, continuity, and then it is going linear. So what this does is it's going to add additional patches, add additional uh, math to that surface. And in case, certain cases, this may be necessary. This is a really good tool for someone building a, let's say, a tooling surface. They need to increase the length off of a sheet metal part and have a ribbon that it'll eventually get uh, trimmed away. So if styling is something that is not truly necessary, it's just you're extending the size of a surface, this is a great tool than linear. With natural, this may be a case where you are being very styling uh, conscientious and you need to just simply extend the size of that surface because this will keep the overall flow and looks of that surface. Select OK. Next we have under operations, extend sheet and then another one called trim and extend. So for this, I'm going to go into Extend Sheet. Now, when I select my edge, in this case, you'll notice I'm picking just sim simply the one edge. I'll go into Settings. My surface, surface extension shape is what's called natural curvature. If I hover over the top of this, you'll see this explains. A slight extension in curvature occurs and then it runs down flat into a tangent continuity beyond that. So basically it's curvature for a short ways and then it goes off and becomes tangent or flat. So for this I'm just going to say uh, natural curvature. I'm going to select OK. Now that I've updated that and selected OK you'll see these control vertices have updated and they've moved and you can see this is a curvature continuity with a tangent extension. I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to um, let's go like this, we'll go to extension. I'm going to change it from natural curvature to natural tangent and what you saw just there is that the surface is now just truly tangent. If I undo you can see additional control points that were there for the natural curvature and then tangency and if I redo that modification you'll see that it is just a pure tangent extension. It's truly tangential. You'll have a break in G2 curvature there. It'll be G1 curvature at that break because this just goes truly linear to that edge. Other options within the extend sheet, pick this edge, natural curvature, we also have mirrored. With mirrored this is using more of the natural curvature of the base surface. So this is more of a true natural, and it's almost like the enlarge basically. This is the true natural curvature of the surface as it extends out. Um, it uses more of that natural curvature as this shoots out and through. Select OK. But as you can see, unlike in the enlarge, this does and will always add additional math to the surface. In order for the surface to have the shape, it needs to have these additional control points. Okay. 
Now the next tool I want to talk about is what's called trim and extend. This is a kind of a combination of several tools if used correctly can be very very powerful. What I have is another surface set up here and I will delete let's go back into my extend, extend and enlarge. I'll just simply delete these and go back to my original surface. With this I'm going to go in and select trim and extend and the default is until selected and I also have make corner. So the until selected allows me to simply specify in this case I'm just going to pick this edge because you can't pick an edge. The tool is going to be this surface. Now you see here it says unable to perform this boolean. If I were to change this to this edge, now it knows what to do. The reason why it wasn't able to perform that boolean is it did not know how to extend this surface out to this surface. It did not know to trim it back to this edge. But with an edge selected, going from edge to edge, I'm specifying go from that edge out to the extension of this edge out. If I go into settings, again, you'll see the same settings that I had before. Natural curvature, natural tangent. You can see here a change. Mirrored, natural curvature, natural tangent. Another option that I have for this is um, when I go in and make a corner. So what this does is it extrapolates those two ends, extends those two ends, and forms an actual corner. Here, you'll notice that I have an option for combine target and tool, and then copy original body if you want to have a copy put in the tree for you. By turning that off, it does not automatically sew these, which allows you to do um, whatever sort of functions you may need to do with unsewn sheets. Now I'm going to undo this. I'm going to move this just to show you. Put that there. Select OK. When I go in my trim and extend, this is my target. This is my tool. And this is where you're able to pick those surfaces because now there is a hard intersection so the surface is nowhere to trim to. This is where arrows are important because of that intersection the system now has multiple results possible. There's four possible results. And then this arrow side is what do you want to do in the direction of the arrows? Retain or delete? In this case I want to retain. Select OK, and then now we have our trim and extended surfaces. So when you're doing your trim and extended surfaces, be careful with what you select. Again, because it does allow you to pick this edge. Let's go to until selected, to this other surface, and it'll give you an error. If they're actually touching then it would work out but if you want this to work me hold the shift key down to deselect select that edge it knows that you're extrapolating or extending along that edge to meet to the extrapolation or the extension of the surface along that edge I hope that clears up the various methods of extending and extrapolating for the most part um, I overbuild surfaces as I am doing things so I don't necessarily have to extrapolate a whole bunch or extend a whole bunch what I will do in on occasion I may ha need to make a surface a little bit bigger and it's a actual class A surface then I want to have the the same basic properties flow properties and such run through the surface so I may use enlarge but these tools here these extends and such are really great tools for building ribbons for overbuilding something that maybe is not necessarily aesthetic uh, so as long as you understand what those tools are doing then 
uh, go for it. Help yourself. Great tools. Great tools.